Um, this video is all about sending images attachment in a slack so uh, in slack we can we can send images in in any channel public or private uh, as an attachment so this this video is for that and uh, recently uh, this uh, file upload method has been deprecated in slack so if you if you try this matter you will get like a de deprecation error and uh, uh, this will not work right because uh, you got some errors and so the how how slack manages uh, the files file upload is completely changed so initially we have single method like upload file we just uh, give the path of the file and the channel name where we want to push that it was able to do but now now what we need to use combination of two functions and for sending uh, to for sending file uh, to the particular channel right we have something called post message function right so you can see I'm using two functions like the one is a uh, uh, files get upload URL external so this is basically uh, this function is returning uh, you to a URL where you can make a post request for uploading your file and uh, if you if you have a sync this is basically with the Python right you can use any language if you're using a sync so in that case uh, uh, yes you need to wait and those things and uh, you need to make a, a sync post request and but if you are using normal function right so in that case you can make simple HTTP post request and it will be able to push your file into into the slack right so okay so I have okay so I have come I have commented on this issue with actual code like uh, how these work so we are what we are doing here you can see this is and all those things right yeah so we are importing this uh, web client uh, so this is a slack of zk right I, I tested it with the slack 3.31 Slack SDK 3.31 uh, version, it was working perfectly fine over there. Okay, so yeah, uh, just import necessary libraries, request for making request, async IO for adding adding a timer. Timer, uh, why timer is needed because uh, once we upload the file, we need to process that file only then we can send it uh, send it to the to our channel uh, channel right. So for that, we using async IO and I created one function log called send Slack message. It is taking two parameters channel ID and table path and uh, you need to pr provide your bo bot API token and uh, you just paste that token here or you can also set as a .env file and or can pass into this method and we are checking whether the file exists or not on the particular path in the path that we are passing and after then we are just uh, fetching grabbing the path file name and the calculating the file size so for that we have something called get size mm -hmm. so after then we are targeting this this method like files get upload external url it is checking length of your file basically file size and the file name it is returning to the url that you can use for pushing your images right after then we got the uploaded url we got the file id and uh, oh and here we are making the post request right we are opening images or read mode and we are making the post request it will be it be, it sent file to the slack server where this they save their files okay all the user uploaded files okay so we got response and if the that is not okay we are raising an exception and if the re response is uh, fine right so we need to process that right so for that we have one method called a uh, file complete upload external right we use this method to process the file basically we uh, this example you uploaded three files okay so in that case you need to pass each id in, in a specific dict inside inside to the array okay so we're using dictionary over here list of dictionary we have and each id should be inside a separate dictionary okay file id basically so yeah we are we are processing the file we are giving the timer of two seconds and you can you can manage it as per your as per your needs right needs in the sense like this example you have uploaded 10 files right in that case you need to increase the timer otherwise it will this will not all the files will not be processed okay here file upload complete successful and then okay so this is our old traditional sending method method right function chat post message so this basically used for sending any message in your in your slack workspace right so here we are passing the channel id we are taking that uh, from the message argument as well uh, channel id and Basically, we, we pass some text 
okay and for image we are creating a block right so if you if you if you know how if you want to know how to we create like beautiful blocks for sending to the slack block basically combination of text title and your actual image so you can go to check and go to checks like api documentation there's a lots of beautiful pre pre created uh, blocks are present over there okay so yeah just passing the image type image and title plain text uh, text table you can pass anything right and the image url right? so how you get the image url where you push your file right and after the process the file you got something called a response variable inside that where uh, uh, there we have okay so you can see we we are taking the first value only because this is written the list of dictionary and since we are passing only a single files at one time so we are taking the zeroth value right if we are we need to send both files see zero zero and both we need to take for that we can write a custom function okay url private is basically the url of your file uploaded file and uh, yeah we are fetching the image url and after then we are we are just sending message to the slack this was working perfectly i tried that and you guys can use the same thing it's a quite big method i think you say but you can you can reformat it uh, as for your needs okay so this is the complete let me okay so yeah just follow this method and make a good good integration applications okay yeah okay so if you have any doubt just mention in a comment or you can directly go to this issue a slack issue and uh, share your feedbacks okay i will what i will do i will provide a link of the slack issue you guys can go and check it out thank you